Hi, Mike from uh, Mike Appelance, Middleburg Heights, Ohio. And this is my 79 Chevy van called El Chapo. 79 Chevy van. Uh, it started out as a project th over 30 years ago as a father-son project and it got put away and forgotten about. I got it. It was just tack welded here and there and I had to do all the body work, fit everything. Um, it's powered by a 355 Chevy, a metric 200 uh, transmission with overdrive, ice cold air conditioning, because <laughs> I'm, I'm getting older and lazy now. And we just started, you know, playing with the interior. It's nothing, we don't know exactly what we're going to do with the interior right now, but. Tell us more about the chop. And uh, it's been chopped five and three eighths is the exact measurement. And that's how it got started. And didn't, they didn't want to do an angle on the windshield or the back. So this whole thing has been a nightmare as far as making everything fit and look correct. Uh, my glass guy was very upset with me too, trying to make a windshield fit in here because the actual chop oh. starts here. Uh -huh. Well, you can't take this section of windshield out. You got to do it from the top. So to make the windshield fit, it was an issue. Oh, yeah. uh, I think we went through six windshields. Finally got one to fit right. Wow. Um, the color on it is a actually a Lexus color. It's a 1J9. I like the sparkle in it and it's a little bit dirty so it shows body lines and chrome uh it's got monte carlo mirrors on it and uh the back's also been tubbed it should be able to fit a 29 and a half inch wide tire in the back i don't have quite that big of a tire in there because uh i think it's a little more streetable with a little narrower tire and this thing goes down the freeway like a dream uh, the wheels are Convo Pros. Yeah. No, those are. Oh yeah, those are 18 and a half inches wide. And I could fit a 29 inch wide tire on the back. That's how big the tubs are in the back. Getting ready to put a pretty crazy stereo system in it. I just got everything. I wanted to do it before this event, but I wasn't able to. Yeah, you can see how big the rear tubs are. Oh, yeah. I could put yeah. a big tire in the oh, back of it. Wow. And it was just all the little weird things I had to do to this van as far as, you know, I had to extend the slider cover because as the roof came down, everything got wider. Oh, yeah. And then making these corners, actually, this whole corner of the roof is actually a front part from a Chevy van hmm. because the actual door opening stayed the same back here it was split right in the corner uh -huh. so wow. trying to make everything look right and proportioned and it's a lot of fun get a lot of looks oh yeah and a lot of people you know they i gotta look at it twice because they're like wait a minute yeah it's been chopped yeah <laughs> it has <laughs> you gotta look you gotta take a second look yeah because you know it doesn't stand out at you you know it's not so it's radical not dramatic, yeah, dramatic, yeah. Uh, drastic yeah Got a TV in there for us, you know, at night, because we do sleep in it. Mm -hmm. So we watch TV, and it's not bad. And out of all my vans, this is the only one that does not have a moonroof in it or a sunroof. Oh, really? Yeah, because I figured all this work I did to it, I'm not chopping a hole in it. <laughs> I want it to look normal. Yeah. Yeah, and the roof is was another challenge, too, because the actual first roof stops here mm -hmm. well by the time everything got bigger because it got about four inches bigger here and about four inches wider in the front mm. had to do basically like a huge toupee on it mm. and weld it all in because the roof's actually wider and longer now than a factory roof oh yeah okay so like i said i got a ton of pictures of it i'll send you some pictures and yeah definitely it's a lot of fun though we enjoy it Seats, we had to drop the seats down so you sit in there normally. I dropped the column down a little bit. Oh, yeah, I guess it would happen. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I'm almost six foot tall and there's plenty of room. Yeah. It's just fun. I got my little short squirt. Now I got the chop top. Yep. 
tubbed out, fun van. El Chapo. El Chapo. Nice. Yeah, the name kind of, uh -oh. some people get confused with Chapo. Yeah. It's like, no, I'm not a drug lord. It's just, <laughs> it was just a fun name, Chapo. Yeah. And it, it's definitely got an attitude, so it kind of goes with it. And this thing has fought me from one end to the other. Everything I've done on this van, it's been twice. It does not cooperate with me. Are you Ubering with it? No, I wish I could. <laughs> That's just a fun thing. Yeah. Very cool. Like I said, you know, I'm not, I don't want to run vent windows, so I got rid of that. So it's, it's going to be a one-piece glass. I didn't even see. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Yeah, and then this actually in the chop. The way the angles and everything are, the five and three eighths came out of here, but then I had to add four here oh. to make everything proportioned. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. I got I got a picture of the driver's side with the door hanging on it with the roof chopped and the door like up. <laughs> it's it's weird looking. <laughs> yeah. And then trying to figure everything so it's right. Yeah. Like working in it, you know, because I've done so many vans and you don't realize that five and three eighths is quite a bit. I can't tell you how many times. I caught my back, my head, you know, because I started putting the beams back in the roof, you know, because it was wide open, and then I started putting the beams in, I started catching myself. I, I had big gouges, cuts, <laughs> but now I've gotten used to it. Oh, yeah. So. Well, good luck with it, man. Yeah, thank you. I still got to sand it and buff it and get the interior done, and yeah. it's just a lot of fun to drive. Yeah. I mean, it won't take you long. No. You know, it, I'll get it done. Well, thanks for showing it so, to us. Well, thank you. Yeah, can't wait to see it finished. No, oh, it'll year, be huh? done. Absolutely. Next summer, next it will be done. Yep. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely.